What the hell is love? <laughs> How, when, and where do you learn that? My role models are left so something to be desired. So years later, I'd be barking up the wrong tree, pick the wrong guy, let him pick me, or decide it was easier to go it alone. Motherly love came first, mom in there, caring and always worrying, but not an affectionate woman. Possessive of me and under my father's thumb. Didn't quite understand me. You can't always get what you want. I didn't, so why should you, was her attitude. Fatherly love, no affection there with his immigrant fear me parenting. Who wears the pants in this family? He's there, a frigid, rigid, stern, and too often an unkind man. Our house is a dictatorship. I have no voice. Brotherly love? I love my big brother. We're close for 30 years, then he turns redneck on me, grows full of hate, and slanders me. Love my Italian grandmother. She lives with us, she's got the biggest heart. She sits me in her lap, hugs me, teaches me to count in Italian, tells me stories, salt of the earth. Sister Maria Maculay, my first grade teacher, I love her, she gets me. She writes me letters saying I should become a nun. Mom quickly disappears those letters. I am not to have much of my own. Puberty, the teens, kissing, necking, petting, slow dancing, driving, movies, prom, steady boyfriend, making out in cars and on his living room floor, but good Catholic girl that I am, I never go all the way. It's all about foreplay, 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 and foreplay. <laughs> then Temple University, city of brotherly love, freedom rings. Beyond Podunk, Crumlin, Pennsylvania, there are cool professors assigning Lady Chatterley's lover. Hippies, Jews, blacks, and pot smoking, free thinking, good looking guys, and I don't have to listen to nuns anymore. <laughs> like Billy Joel sings, you Catholic girls, son, months too late. I decide who will do the deed. A tall, handsome, easygoing writer. We do it on a mattress on the floor in his Powhatan Village apartment, listening to Miss Aluba, a Latin mass song in the Congo. He's quick and efficient without passion. Is that all there is? <laughs> the deed done and a journey begun. Now, where is my soulmate? I move into a hippie house with three other girls from Temple University. It's free love time. I meet a nice Jewish boy from Philly. He moves in, asks me to marry him. I love him, but I don't need to get married. But my Catholic parents are going to have a heart attack knowing we're living together in sin. So to please them and him, I say yes. Yes, yes, no, and I can get out of it if I need to. I'm 21. Four or five years into it, I get out of it. I want to be an artist, have better sex. Women's lib is happening. He moves out, it's amicable. I find a cool artist boyfriend who says, yeah, go to art school. And I proceed to change my life irrevocably. Onward to a life of love, passion, and poverty. Mid-twenties and thirties, hot to trot. Divorce, art school, four glorious years drawing naked bodies. I try women, it doesn't quite stick. I fall in love with one of my teachers. Really, 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 really in love. It's a classic May-December romance, and I don't care what anybody thinks. Two Scorpios, so intense. He's my soulmate, lives in New York. Our tales in two cities, New York and Philly, making art, making love, love letters, and catching trains back and forth for five, six years. Then I find myself feeling, what if I want a kid? I'm losing touch with my generation. I can't move in with him and still give up my own uh, studio. Sadly, I break it off. We're still friends after many years. Mid-30s, some bad things happen to me. Healing from life's wounds. I move to New York, get tangled up in jazz and blues, falling for musicians now. Looking for love, looking for love, writing lyrics and poems like love poem number nine. And baby, I need something sweet. Love and lust intertwined, heartaches. I can't get no satisfaction. Is it me or is it man? My 40s and 50s with a sweet, sweet, tender guy, solid, trustworthy, easygoing, younger than me. He loves me, moves in and cares for me. He's black. Some of my family disown me. The relationship works five, six years. Sadly, Scorpio Aries, not the right match forever. I can't fix that. He moves out. We remain friends. I get a cat to love and thank God for my many, many friends over the years. My 60s. I see my father on his deathbed, a few hours left of his life. He still cannot, does not say the word love, but he does try to fix a monumental wrong that he done me. 
He gives me my deepest heartache, withholding love, hoarding money as bait. Sadly, it is too late. He always had a bad heart. I work on forgiveness. Life now, life now is rather quiet in the romance area. Uh, sign of the times, perhaps I'm not lost, but I'd like to be found. I got room in my heart for one good man, like Janice sings. I'll take another shot of love. Time to get it right. <laughs> <laughs>